um, the difference to me in the 90s is when Emmett Smith, right? And you get Emmett Smith, and that was one of the things. So I get in a lot of fights back in the day, not fist fights, but arguments. Nowadays, I get in arguments because every time I post something about Emmett, there's always, you know, a negative, or they're always going to compare him to Barry or this or that. Was Emmett a product of the line? Was Emmett a benefit? Did Ed, Emmett benefit the line? Was it a mutual, you know, help each other? <laughs> I hear this all the time. You want the truth? I haven't had you want off the like truth? Time and say it, so I we, want to we know. Want, we want the okay, truth here. True. Okay, this is this is how you can prove it's not the offensive line. This is how you can prove it was Emmett Smith. He held, he held out, right? He held out. Yes. And when he held out. Uh, you know, so remember the culture is very positive and, you know, HUD would come in there and this is the honest to God truth that happened. He'd come in there day after day. I, and I, I think it was maybe Derek Lassick was the running back. Derek Lassick was the running back. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, and Derek had some game. There's no two ways about it, but he, you know, clearly wasn't Emmett Smith. Not, not many people are. And, um, and he would say, Oh no, man, it's the offensive line. And, you know, we go through week one and Derek Lassick has like, 30 yards you know <laughs> and then he tried to sell that shit to us the next week and i finally said hey hud it, it, it's it's it ain't it ain't you know you're not gonna sell this shit to us it's emmett you know i mean i mean he was if you look at the film he never got hit hard man i mean you know the guy hurt his shoulder in the giants game and all that but i mean nobody ever just fucking tatered him he yeah. was so shifty uh, you know, I mean, like if you if you think about the huddle, you know, like, and that's why you know, you know, uh, I give Troy a lot of credit. I, I mean, I give him a massive amount of credit because you got guys in that huddle that want the ball, and there's only one ball, and you yeah. got to control. You know, I mean, you know, you got to control Michael Urban saying, "Throw me the fucking ball," and you got to <laughs> control five offensive linemen saying, "You know, let's run it because we can't give up a sack when we run the ball." You know. And then you got a running back that's, you know, arguably the greatest running back of all time that wants the ball. You got an incredible tight end in Jane. I mean, and then when Aikman steps in, you know, he doesn't want to hand the ball off. He wants to throw the goddamn thing, you know. So I mean, it was a quite of a, it was quite of you know a, a talent act uh, yeah. to control that huddle. But uh, you know, like I said, that's why I give him the credit because you know when he stepped in that thing, it got quiet, and you know to get Michael Irvin to be quiet. It's not an easy that's, task. No, that's yeah, that's not an easy. Yeah, that's not yeah. an easy task. <laughs> yeah, 